Welcome back to Undertale. I found Undyne's home, but there's still a couple things I want to do before I progress. So the first thing I'm going to do is find Temi Village, which I think I just did. But before doing that... Okay, now we can go to Temi Village. <laughs> Actually, wait, before doing that... Uh, one more. Squeak. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so I think this is Temi Village because the face on this thing looks... Temi-esque? And apparently it's gonna take me somewhere. Three gold for the ferry. Heck yes, take me to Temi. Hop on. Oh god. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. You got three gold. Wait, you get the money back? Why do you take the money then, if you just give it back? I don't understand. Um, anyway, where am I? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just... Wait a minute. Haven't I been here? I've been here, haven't I? This isn't Temi Village. What the heck? Uh, I guess it's just a shortcut thing. Hmm. Alright, well I guess I'll keep looking. Hey, what are you doing here? Everything's so dirty. If I could erase everything, I would. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I don't want anyone to die. People turn to dust when they die, and that's hard to clean up. <laughs> True. <gasps> there is something over here! I doubt this is Temi Village, but there's a secret. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. <laughs> what? A, a bench quiche. Will you take it? Of course. You got the abandoned quiche. Abandoned quiche. Abandoned quiche. It was 34 HP. A psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. Aw. Poor thing. So what's the last thing you heard, huh? I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. <laughs> That's why the quiche was left? The responsibility of taking care of a quiche. Huh. It's just a bench. Just a bench. That's it. I came all the way over here for an abandoned quiche. Eh, that's fine. Alright, back to looking for Temi. Well, in my search for Temi Village, I've gone all the way back to Snowden, so I might as well use this opportunity to meet Undyne and Papyrus. Hey, how's it going? I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. <laughs> hey, punk. What's up? Achoo! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So, why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. <laughs> Papyrus, why do you live in an icy wasteland? The rent's cheap. Really? Don't you live in a huge house? Yeah, but my brother pays for it. Where's your brother get the money to pay for it? Oh, that's simple. It's a mystery. <laughs> Papyrus? Why do you- oh, now it's repeating. Dang. It's unlocked. Cool, let's go in. See if anything new is happening in here. I don't suppose that Sans door is unlocked this time? Nope. Okay, back to the search for Temi Village. I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starting a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi Peppers. All I've thought of is the name. And I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? No.
Aha, I found Temi Village. <laughs> so, so before I actually explore it, let me just explain how I found it. Um, some people told me, uh, I think some people gave me hints as to where it was, but honestly, I forgot the hints and I just tried to find it on my own. Until finally the fairy person, the person with the fairy that you can take from Snowden to the Hotlands and to Waterfall, you know, with the cat boat thing. Um, every time you ride the ferry, they, they say something random, and one of the things they say is literally just telling you where the village is. It just says, like, Temi Village is in the room before the Darkening Lanterns. Uh, and the hardest part was trying to find where the freaking hell I need to go to actually get back here. Because I knew what room they were talking about. I remember the lantern room, but I just could not remember how to actually get there. So it took me a while to actually find it, but here it is. And if you go down here... We find Temi Village, full of Temis. Hoi, welcome to Tem Village. This music is amazing. You feel something. You're filled with determination. <laughs> oh. oh my god, what am I gonna find here? They all look the same. Hoi, I'm Timmy. And this is my friend, Timmy. Hi. Or, hoi, rather. I'm Timmy. I think this is supposed to be read in, like, the voice of, like, a five-year-old. I don't know. This is my friend, Timmy. Oh my god, they're all Timmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi. I'm Bob. <laughs> A wah wah wah? Humans, such a cute <laughs> Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. Oh my god. I think their dialogue is best read rather than actually read aloud. But I've read everything else, so I guess I might as well just read their dialogue too. And is that a a Temi conquering a dragon? Rich history of Tem. Hmm. Hoi, you should check out Tem Shop. Oh my god, what do they sell? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tem Shop. Okay, I'll check Tem Shop. What's in the box? Oh, I thought maybe they left something in the box. Nope. Statue of Tem. Very famous. Very. It's hard boiled. <laughs> it's hard boiled. It's never gonna hatch. Mushroom dance. Um. It symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my hyphy, hyphy, hyphy. My struggles to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas to no avail. Hey, is that a Timmy watching me? Feeling of being watched. Hmm. Tem heard human allergies to allerg allergics to Tem. That okay, Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. No! Tem! Hoives! <laughs> Let's check out Tem Shop. Oh my god. Welcome to the Tem Shop! Its face is moving, but its eyebrows aren't. What the hell? <laughs> the face! It's like sliding off. It's like its face is sliding off of its face. I'm just looking around the shop. Look at this. Bone, stick, potion. Oh, there's a picture of the dog! Uh, Let's talk. Say hello. Hoi! I'm Demi. Tell me about yourself. Ho hoi! I'm Tim. Uh, Temmy history. Us Tems have a deep history. Would, would you like to elaborate? 
Okay, tell me about the shop. Yeah, yeah, go to Tim's shop. C cool, what do you sell? Heals 2 HP, food of Tem. Tem Flake. Discount food of Tem. Well, I might as well buy the discount item, because it's cheaper than the other item, but it's the same item, right? Or expensive Tem Flake. A thousand gold. Tem pay for college. Tem pursue higher education. Well, I wish I had the money for that, but I don't. I guess we buy expensive Tem Flakes? They're the same items, but, you know, support your local Tem economy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the face! Uh, that's terrifying. Let's buy another one! Uh -huh. uh, I can't fit anymore. Goodbye. Hey, can I sell stuff to you? Oh, I actually can sell stuff. Hmm. Wow, my abandoned quiche is actually pretty valuable. I don't actually want to sell anything, though. Bye! Let's take a look at these flakes. What do you do with Temmie flakes? I mean, they're called flakes, so it sounds like they're supposed to be fed to fish or something? Tummy flakes has 2 HP. It's just torn up pieces of colored construction paper. Damn it! I want a refund. Hoives. I want to see the mushroom dance again. Yeah. Okay. Well, that has been Temmie Village. I guess that's it. <laughs> um, I am going to shove my... F well, I'll shove one of my flakes in here. Maybe I'll keep the other one, just in case. You never know. Maybe torn up bits of construction paper might be useful somewhere. It could happen. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to where I was going to before to progress the game, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's where we were before. It's past the nice cream guy and the two bros. Let's check out this place. Is this a club? MT oh god, I didn't mean to go inside. Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Okay. Hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! Oh, that cat person looks so cool. Let's talk. So, like, what's up? Talk about you two. I'm Braddy. And this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your wares. The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked buy all of it? Oh my god. Where did you get it from? I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it in the garbage. It's good garbage. It's like really good garbage. Origin of garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in the dumpster. I saw a bike in there. Maybe they want to restore it. Let's talk about Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton! He's like, my robot husband. Oh my god. I think we're like, both going to marry him. We're both like, already married to him. He just like, doesn't know it yet. Origin of Metaton. So like, Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's like, what they tell you. But like, Metaton always acts like, being built was his idea somehow. 
and even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy. Best friends forever! Wait, why does that say old question mark question mark question mark? Is it old or not? Let's try it. Um... It looks like it's old. But why does it say old question mark question mark question mark? That's really bizarre. Uh, tell me about Alphys. Oh my god. Alphys. She used to live on our street. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. <laughs> then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. Oh my god, that explains what- if you remember where all the trash was back in Waterfall. When I was examining the trash, remember there was like a, an anime case? Like an anime DVD case? Remember how it said it looks like desperate claw marks were on the outside of it, like somebody was desperately trying to open it? That must have been Alphys. Royal Scientist. So Al Alphys is always like, I thought Asgore is a super cutie. So like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all the science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl? Yeah, like us. Tell me about Asgore. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. God, we're like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Gee, thanks. Alright, what do you sell? Junk food. It's already got a bite out of it. Of course, it came from the garbage, why wouldn't it? Empty gun. Bullets not included. <laughs> Whoa, this stuff's expensive. 12 defense. Attack up and worn. Okay, so it's got one more defense than what I'm currently wearing, which honestly is not really worth it. Mystery key! <gasps> question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Probably to someone's houses, lol. Did I say someone's houses? A key to multiple houses? Let's make that singular. Probably to someone's house, lol. Okay, come on. If you dangle a mystery key in front of me and make it cost 600 gold, I'm gonna save up every single last dime for that. I need that mystery key. I need it, I need it, I need it. In fact, I think I might even know what it's for. Do you know what I think it's for? I think it's for the other ghost's house that's locked. What do you bet? That's the only locked house I can think of. Yeah. Um, I suppose it could be t for somewhere in Snowden. There might be some locked houses there, possibly. But I'm thinking it's either the other ghost's house or s for somewhere in Snowden. Either way, I need to save up for that. Uh, which means I need to stop spending money on Temi Flakes and stuff like that. Uh, can I sell stuff to you? Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get us some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you 1,000 gold if you get Metaton an autograph to autograph my butt. Uh, if I can, I would love to, because then I could afford the key. See ya! I really want that key. I really, 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 really want that key. I need to pinch my pennies so hard they turn into diamonds. It's just a regular wall. Hmm... I don't believe you. I'm starting to believe you. Okay, you've earned my trust. Yo, Sans! Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure! Great. Thanks for treating me. <laughs> I'm treating you? I'm not paying anything. Over here. I know a shortcut. Hey, wait, I thought that was just a wall! There goes my trust. Well, here we are. So, 
Your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Butto. Though... Maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. <laughs> that must have been Toriel. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Old lady who? What? I kind of get it. That doesn't really work. <sighs> wow. Needle, ne needles. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. Uh, yeah. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. <laughs> but you told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. Oh god, this is gonna be when I left, right? I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes. Has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Uh... Sure. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? <clears throat> <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Toriel... What in the hell are you? It's a platoon of ficuses. <laughs> platoon? <laughs> Don't you mean a murder?
some kind of TV show featuring Metadon. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. <laughs> okay. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. These are all metadone. Some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. Once again, uh, performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, sans. Seems there's a break now. Oh, hey! You must be doing comedy. You're the Ice Drake or whatever you are. How much of an audience is there? There's, like, two people. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love Puzzle. You love Puzzle? I love Puzzle, too. Also, what are you? Because to me, you look like... Well... I'm just gonna say it, you look like a dick. And I don't mean like you look like an asshole dick, but I mean like you literally look like a penis. Anyway, how you doing, Satan? Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go ugh, two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, or now, my son, he wants to be a comedian. Like his father? My son, father, okay, but his jokes aren't funny. He tells this awful puns. It's an embarrassment to our family. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. I don't, I don't understand how this voice is supposed to be read. Is this like, like a, Brooklyn accent or something? Or like New Jersey or something? Like what? Mother? I think it might be. Like bad comedian. It might be like a New Jersey or Brooklyn accent or something like that. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible fa- uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nope. Goodbye. Well, the good thing is my horrible misreading of all that dialogue and in the wrong, wrong accent can't make his jokes any worse. Uh. Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... <laughs> oh, here we go. God, I really need money. Uh... Are you a person, or is this just like, is, is that a thing on the ground, or is that a person? Oh my god, that's a thing. Or a, a person, I mean. Sorry, I just called you a thing. I don't know, you look really strange. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night, or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Wait, still live here? <laughs> just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Cool. You are geometrically strange. Also, I think you got a little bit of a water problem here. Gonna have some rotten floorboards pretty soon. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel. It fills you with determination. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to continue on and try saving up for that mysterious key.